guys, welcome back to Vlogtober Day 6. Listen, fall and candy yams just go together. So if you want to see how I make these southern candy yams, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first off, we're going to be working with some sweet potato. I have my casserole dish. This is my Pioneer Woman casserole dish. If you're interested in this, I purchased this from Walmart. It actually came in a two-pack. I'll try to link it down below if I can find it on Walmart or Amazon for you. Then I'm just going to use a cutting board, a knife, and a vegetable peeler. Now you can also use your knife to peel your sweet potatoes. I just don't. I always use a vegetable peeler. So I gave my sweet potatoes a nice little quick bath, scrapped all that dirt and excess whatever off of the skin. Then I'm going to cut the ends off and give these a nice peel to get um, that off. And then I am going to give these a coarse chop. Now I'm not going to dice it too finely. I want to leave them kind of coarse because I want them thick enough to kind of soak up all those juices and just make this amazing but I'm getting ahead of myself let's get this skin off first okay so as I mentioned I'm just giving it a really coarse chop I'm just cutting it in half and then cutting maybe about four slices through each one so I have some nice little hefty squares then I'm just going to put that right in my pioneer woman dish now also I sprayed my dish with just a little um, cooking spray and I just did that so once I get ready to wash dishes it'll be a little bit easier for me not doing anything differently here so I'm just gonna go ahead finish peeling the rest of them and giving them all a nice chop and putting them in my casserole dish Okay guys, now that we have everything peeled and chopped, we are going to work on this glaze. So like I told you, I put the raw potatoes in the casserole dish, then I make this brown sugar, cinnamon, oh, just no. butter sauce to go on top and bake it and it makes your sweet potatoes so amazing. We're going to start with two sticks of butter or just eight ounces of butter. This is one of those Kerrygold little things of butter, squares of butter that I got from Aldi as well. And it was perfect for this. So I'm putting it over about medium heat, medium high heat, just to get that butter melting because it was in the freezer. I'm also going to go in with about three fourths cup of almond milk. And if you guys remember that almond milk is from Aldi, as well as all of the sugar we have. Speaking of sugar, I'm going to go in with about one and a half cups of sugar or just a little bit more because I do like my candy yams candied. I like them to be sweet. Listen, I don't want it too sweet, but I want to know that I'm eating candy yams, okay? Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with three-fourths cup of brown sugar. This just gives it that re that like really rich depth flavor that you want in meals like this and it's amazing so that brown sugar is from a previous haul that I got at I want to say CVS or one of my local grocery stores and you can see there were some um, clumps in it but it's okay it's going to melt as I'm melting it with the butter and everything works out great just make sure you're giving it some nice stirring action so I just have that kind of simmering on my pot to thicken up just a bit now I'm going to go in with some vanilla. Doesn't vanilla just go with this type of dish? To me it just flows. It goes with this. I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of vanilla. 
Then I'm going to go in with about one and a half tablespoons of honey, maybe a bit more. Going in with half a tablespoon of cinnamon, half a tablespoon of allspice, going to give that a stir. Then I'm going to go in with just one teaspoon of cloves because cloves are just such, <laughs> they're so much stronger. You don't need as much. So I'm not going to put as much in there. Going to get those seasonings all incorporated and mixed up in this nice, juicy, hot, delicious butter mixture. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see that? Do you guys look at this? This looks so good and it's just reminding me right now how freaking good these sweet potatoes really were. So my sweet potatoes have been waiting patiently for me. They said that they want to go swimming and I am going to help them make it happen. So I have them there. First off, I'm going to put two little extra tablespoons of brown sugar down here. Now this is organic brown sugar and I felt like it wasn't quite as sweet as my other brown sugar. So that's why I chose to go and add just a little bit more on the potatoes. Now I'm going to take this rich, delicious, sweet, buttery syrup. And I'm going to pour it right, oh my gosh, oh my goodness you guys, look at this. You all know how amazing this was, no you don't, you don't know. But let me tell you, it was amazing. Anyway, I'm going to pour it all in there, I'm going to give it a stir. It's kind of thick right now, but once you put this in the oven and your potatoes start melting down, they will release a little liquid, which is going to incorporate in with that little um, candy yam mixture. It's going to make it a little more liquidy, okay? Okay. I'm going to wrap this in some foil. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in the oven for um, about 30-35 minutes. Use your spoon to cut into potatoes, see when it's done. And I have this on 350. Listen guys, we had some people over to our house for dinner. Let me tell you, these were so good, I couldn't even get a shot straight out the oven because everybody was sticking their spoons in there. So this is all that's left out of that big pan that I made, but when I tell you that this stuff was amazing, everyone loved it. We just found some more sweet potatoes, so I'll be making it again, and I can't wait. Everyone is happy. Don't forget to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow for vlog. Thank you.